Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Wednesday night, November 6, 2024. It's a date, 11.14 p.m. here. In the uh, California time zone, latest activity shows some movement there across the South America area. Uh, also, Alaska seen a little 0.8. Uh, but for the larger earthquake activity, got uh, some movement stirring up down here across the Peru Chile Trench. 34 miles deep here into the uh, area underneath Peru. One of the latest quakes here on the map. Uh, also some newer activity triggering up here across the Puerto Rico Trench and just outside the Dominican Republic area. area. A couple of three stirring up out there, out there in this area. Um, California region here. Let's see if we got anything new above 2.5 here uh, since this morning's update. Looks like a 2.9 coming into the Stovepipe Wells area of Death Valley. That uh, is a region that has seen quite a bit of earthquake activity here recently. Uh, in the last, uh, not only in the last week or so, but uh, technically the last 30 days where we've seen uh, well over 100 and 161 earthquakes here of various magnitudes with really no main quake. It's just a, a swarm of various um, small magnitude earthquakes. Uh, an overall sign and pattern there across the state of California indicating strain out here along the plate boundary. Uh, we do have a little earthquake activity on the San Andreas Fault, the creeping segment, and also some movement here across the Bakersfield area. Now this region here had that five pointer a few weeks back here, 5.2 I believe, and uh, periodic earthquake swarming as well. The last earthquake even uh, somewhat being measured was a few days ago with this 1.2 uh, that was a little bit further south here actually it looks like across the mountain range but uh we do have uh, a little bit of earthquake activity triggering right now 1.5 into this area so we'll watch potentially here uh, southern california may be on the uptick here of earthquake activity overnight uh, earlier this morning there off the coast of san diego a three-pointer coming in so various magnitudes of earthquakes here uh, surrounding the plate boundary once again uh, nothing major yet, but still got to keep an eye there on the Southern California region. A little bit of swarming going on here across the Sierraville, California. Uh, looks like a 2.4 triggered uh, some earthquake swarming there across the area this morning. Nothing big, just a little sequence of events out there. Bay Area, fairly quiet and uh, extreme Northern California here. A couple of smaller quakes here from this morning. And one from last night. Nothing major going on there through the Cascadia for now. Uh, let's double check the trimmer here tonight. See what we have uh, for the Cascadia trimmer. We're sitting at zero. Zero epicenters of trimmer. Yesterday here, I believe that was about the same. Well, 117 from yesterday. Uh, but today's count, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot there in the mix for uh, trimmer activity. Uh, the rest of the country, as you can see out there, pretty quiet, aside from the typical zone, seeing some earthquake movement across the oil and the fracking operations out there. Uh, one earthquake here this evening outside of Cincinnati, 2.0. Yes, uh, even earthquake activity happens up there in Ohio. Uh, it's not all that common, but there is some fault systems that sit around the area, the New Madrid Seismic Zone and a couple other various uh, zones out there that can see some earthquake activity but generally anywhere within this blue range can see uh, some small microquake activity on occasion and that's where that earthquake activity is happening right now uh, across the pacific here see what we've got quite a few fives stirring up here across the volcano islands area in the kermadec trench down here uh, one more deep well this one here is fairly shallow one of the latest quakes here in the area 5.2 right on the plate boundary here just prior to the subduction zone actually it looks like of the Kermadec Trench uh, nothing major going on out there for now but uh, some deep activity over the last 24 hours subsequently followed up here by shallow movement definitely keep an eye on that New Zealand some twos and threes out there really nothing major going on uh, across the uh, southern Indian Ocean out here off of the plate boundary a 5.5 earthquake that's gonna be way out here mid indian ridge off of the mid indian ridge it looks like uh, for a 5.5 earlier this evening 
Uh, so things are starting to adjust down here across this area of the globe. Um, let's see what else we got. Deeper movements here across the Himalayas and a swarm of activity up here. Uh, threes and fours. Let's see exactly where that's at. It's going to be in the China area, it looks like. North of the Himalayas, off of the plate boundary here. Uh, a little bit of swarming going on across the region. Uh, Japan area, uh, like I said, we got this swarm of activity down here across the Izu Trench. Some fives stirring up out there. The latest quake, a 3.7 little earthquake here uh, underneath the area. Nothing major going on there through Alaska for now. Middle America Trench, South America area. Uh, older quake activity up north. Newer migrational earthquake activity down south here with that recent earthquake activity underneath the Peru area. Big Island of Hawaii, after a few days of swarming out there around the Loihi Seamount, things have come to a halt. In fact, the last earthquake here was uh, yesterday on the Wednesday time period, uh, excuse me, Tuesday time period, very early in the morning, 2 o'clock a.m. Uh, AM. So uh, things have come to a halt out there for now. Uh, that probably won't be the case here as the hot spot uh, adjusts accordingly as the Pacific plate moves around slowly but surely. No major changes there going on across the uh, Hawaii area for now in terms of volcanic activity. Now, space weather activity, that's a different story. we got some X-flare potential out here. A number of sunspots that are flaring right now. Um, let's go ahead and see what we got for the magnetic complexity here. On the magnetogram image, this shows uh, various areas of intensifying uh, magnetic complexity here with these sunspots. A lot of popcorn, different colors here in close proximity. That's what you would want to see. Uh, in terms of uh, X-flare potential. And this one definitely has it. Looks like we're starting to build a little bit back here as well. And then a newer region out here on the southeastern uh, limb of the sun is coming around into view. And that itself looks fairly uh, massive and complex as well. Um, unnamed, has not been named yet. But as you can see, um, we got to watch it here in the coming days. That is currently a area of concern because it's flaring right now. And just looking at that uh, image I could see there on the magnetogram shows a fairly large active complex area that uh, will be turning into the earth directed view here over the coming days. <clears throat> Still trying to get rid of this. I'm getting better. Uh, not quite there yet though. Uh, M flare activity 80%. X flare around 35% chance or so. C flare at 99% certainty. And not a whole lot of auroras there in the forecast for now, folks. We'll see if uh, things change here in the coming days. Hurricane activity. We do have Hurricane Rafael down here across the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, currently, let's see what we got here for the latest information. 105 mile per hour sustained wind, so it has weakened a little bit from this morning's update. I think it was about 115. Uh, still a hurricane. It is not expected to reach major uh, hurricane status. Just going to remain a hurricane for a little while, uh, venturing around in the Gulf of Mexico. A little uncertainty, though, on where this is going to go. Over the past couple of days, we've gone from Florida to Louisiana to the Gulf uh, Coast there of Texas. Now, it uh, looks like we're taking more of a westward turn. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that as uh, it uh, turns around out there in the Gulf of Mexico. The GFS model here paints a picture uh, very similar to what uh, these models are showing with the westward direction. Uh, but then ultimately dissipating, it looks like, uh, there in the Gulf of Mexico itself. Uh, so that's interesting to watch. We'll have to see. A lot of times these hurricanes here get wrapped up and pulled up here from low pressures. So I'm really surprised that didn't get caught up in the flow. We'll see how this thing behaves, though, as we head towards this coming weekend. More severe weather out here across Oklahoma and Texas as we head towards the end of the weekend. That's a certainty. And um, California looks like we're getting a little bit of rain out here uh, come early next week. I'm hoping for some decent precipitation makers out here. Uh, but so far, these have just been fairly cold systems 
with minimal moisture here for Northern California. Most of the moisture has been up north into Oregon and Washington. So we need to get rain here. This is one of our wet months. Each month that goes by without uh, any significant precipitation is uh, uh, not good for drought conditions out here. All right, uh, seismograph stations out here, pretty quiet right now, folks. Not a whole lot going on there across the models. Uh, Seattle, I'm not for sure if the Seattle station's operable as far as like uh, uh, legit information coming in there as far as the data, but uh, it's been almost consistently with that type of reading going on and hard to say if that's earthquake activity or just environmental noise. I haven't got a chance to uh, change that up yet, but... Uh, for now, we'll keep all these up as is. Parkfield Station offline, but uh, we'll see if we can't get that to come up here uh, overnight. If not, I'll have to do a reset on it. Uh, anyway, folks, hope you have a good evening. We will catch you guys back out here tomorrow morning for the Thursday morning update. Again, keep an eye here in California. We're starting to move a little bit. Various magnitudes. Um, pretty much encircling the San Andreas Fault out here in the last 24 hours. Have a good night. We'll see you guys back out here early in the morning. Stay safe out there.